hello 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 how are you doing my beautiful sexy aquarians this is going to be your girl miss hawaii and this is going to be your general love reading for march 5th of 2022 it's so good to see all of you i hope all is well with you your loved ones and your pets and thanks for coming here to exchange energies with me i hope you're doing fantastic to all my aquarians and um Yeah, let's get right into your reading. I hope you all had a beautiful, blessed birthday last month or in January. Hope you guys had good birthdays. Check out the description box below. It's a lot of information there as far as how to book a personal reading with me, all of my social media information, and you'll also find an extended reading link if you're interested in purchasing the extended read for this reading, okay? There's also information as far as how to become a member of this channel. Shout out to all my members. Thanks for your continuous support. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, click the little bell button below if you would like to be notified anytime I go live or I post a new Aquarian reading. Sorry, I had to, I had to um, swallow. I don't know why I paused. <laughs> That's why I took that pause. I'm like, ugh. I may be going live tonight, guys, just so you know. I'll definitely post on my Instagram if I decide to. I like to give you guys a little two-hour window so that way you can prepare if you want to watch. I might do some Cash App questions as well, PayPal questions if you're interested. So let's see what's going on with my Aquarians. How is Aquarius currently feeling towards the person they're dealing with in love or the person they're thinking about? The five of pentacles. Mm. Emotional distance. The six of wands. How else does Aquarius feel in love towards the person they're dealing with? Some of you may be dealing with an earth sign or a fire sign. Justice. That's Libra energy there. Fairness, paying consequences. One more card, please, for how Aquarius feels. The Page of Wands. You could be dealing with somebody younger than you. Like I said earlier, possibly a fire sign for some of you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see communication with the page here. Or I see you wanting to communicate. Let's see, how does your person feel about you, Aquarius? Knight of Swords. Mm. Well, that knight usually takes charge and takes action. How does this person feel about you, Aquarius? The Tower. Scorpio energy there. I see change here between you and this person. The Eight of Cups. Did your person walk away from you? One more card, please, for how this person feels about Aquarius. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Your person got some emotional issues here. The mutual energy is the Queen of Cups in reverse. You both seem kind of emotionally distant. I just heard your person runs from their feelings, Aquarius. But somebody walked away here with the Eight of Cups here. Somebody walked away. The Eight of Cups can also mean, you know, emotionally abandoning something. So let's go ahead and clarify. We'll get more information. Don't forget personal readings. Email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com if you're interested. Okay. And if you're interested in purchasing the extended reading for this read, which I will continue on Vimeo after this, I'll do a full spread on your person, see more about their feelings for you, and then we'll also take a look at their future actions. And we'll pull you some Oracle advice cards as well in the extended, okay? So let's go ahead and see here. Show me this Five of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Five of Pentacles. 
Because I feel like you want this with the Six of Wands. I feel like you want this. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, I told you. You want this. Wish fulfillment. Emotional fulfillment. You can see yourself having a family. There may be kids involved for some of you. But the Ten of Cups is a very family type energy. It's the energy of we can live happily ever after. We can do this. We can be happy. We can have kids. We can have the white picket fence. You know what I mean? You make me happy. I make you happy in the utmost way. But your person is being distant towards you. Show me the six of wands. The seven of pentacles in reverse. It's making you feel like you're wasting your time a bit here. Because it's like, hello, temperance is here too. Why do I have, I have some of the candle shit on my hand? Yeah, temperance is here. That's about patience. You've been real patient with this person. Show me the justice card in reverse. The justice card is also about though, but I want to be treated right. I want to be treated fairly. You know what I mean? Sorry, I had to fix my microphone. The judgment card. You trying to make things right with this person. You trying to let all the stress, you know, leave this connection. Show me the page of wands. Some of y'all thinking about sending this person a message or communicating the ace of wands. Yeah, see, you got it upright. They got it in reverse. You want to talk. You trying to keep this shit moving. You trying to keep this shit going. Show me the knight of swords. Let's see your person here. The hierophant here. Taurus energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Your person kind of like got their views and they kind of stick to it. Like this is the way I feel because the Hierophant is a very like, some people say stubborn energy, but it's just very like conforming energy. Like this is how I feel. Like for instance, if you're dealing with somebody who's a Catholic, they're like, I'm a Catholic. That's that. I'm never changing. You know, I'm not going to be with anybody else unless they're a Catholic. Just giving you an example. Like this person really sticks to the way that they feel and how they feel. Show me the tower. Something explosive happened here between you and this person though. The world in reverse. The world in reverse indicates a cycle that's not complete. Lack of closure. With the seven of wands in reverse. Now the interesting card here, the eight of cups. Can we clarify this eight of cups? What did this person walk away? Why'd they walk away? The hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like this person just see, see the death card here on the bottom. Scorpio energy. I feel like this person just needed some time to themselves. Because the Hermit card is a card about trying to learn. It's a card about trying to grow. It's a card about trying to gain enlightenment. You know what I mean? It's a good card. But it's a card of a very solitary energy. So I feel like... Your person just needed some space. Show me the Ace of Wands in reverse. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. It could have been something with their money for some of you. Like I just heard something about like wanting to get their money up or needing to separate themselves to focus more on their finances or something like that for some of you. Hmm. Why is the mutual energy, the queen of cups in reverse between the two of you? The eight of swords. Why y'all both feel like y'all hands tied to some shit or trapped here, stuck? Nine of swords in reverse, the four, five of swords in reverse, the ten of cups. I think you both know you can make each other happy here. But y'all both kind of in this like, y'all both thinking about this a lot too. Eight of swords. Why y'all, why is the mutual energy the queen of cups in reverse though? It's interesting you got the justice card. You've invested a lot into this person. 
let's look from another deck there's still a lot of passion for you there. A lot of fire for you there. Let's look from some other decks here and get more information. All right. And then we'll go into the um, extended. Okay. Um, let's do, let's do this deck. I haven't used this deck in a while. feels nice I like when you shuffle the cards and they feel so smooth show me how uh, Aquarius feels about this person how does Aquarius feel about this person the seven of swords how does Aquarius feel about this person the nine of cups what the fuck There could have been some deception that went down here, but I feel like you still got the deception next to pleasure. So I feel like there's still something about this person that you fuck with that makes you fucking fulfilled and feel happy. How does Aquarius feel about this person? The hangman. You could be dealing with a Pisces. That's like a waiting card. One more card, please, for how Aquarius feels about this person. The Nine of Swords. Wow. You're pretty stressed about this. I see you like it's really on your mind. Like it's weighing real heavy. The Nine of Swords is my card of like nightmares, anxiety, fear. It's my worrying card. You could be worried because things are kind of on hold right now between the two of you. Some of y'all got trust, like you don't trust this person or this person did something sneaky before in the past or deceptive and you're just like, oh, but I feel like it's not pulling you away. I just see a lot of stress for some of you too, though. How does this person feel about you? The hermit. So there they go again, getting that hermit energy of like, it's a singular energy. It's a solitary energy. Some of y'all dealing with a Virgo judgment I don't think your person is completely abandoning this right now knight of cups in reverse they got to learn how to manage their emotions control their emotions the magician see in the mutual energy between the two of you is justice about making things right justice also represents like cause and effect like just giving you an example, not saying this happened, but for an example of justice is like, you know, justified actions. It's like, for instance, somebody cheats on you, you block them and you stop talking to them. You did that because you felt that that was the right thing to do. That was the fair thing to do. You cheated on me, you lied, you deceived me. So I block you and I'm not talking to you and you end the relationship. Justice. But... Your person got three major arcana cards here. Like, I don't feel like, I feel like for some of you, your person may be needing some distance right now and some space right now, but I don't think it's, it's to say that it's completely over between the two of you because the judgment card can sometimes mean second chances, you know, and you both got it on your, on your spreads. And they got the magician as well. Why the seven of swords? Can we clarify the seven of swords, please? The knight of cups. It's something about this person's emotions you don't trust. Like they are seeing themselves as the knight of cups in reverse. <clears throat> it's something about this person's emotions with the knight of cups. Like. The Knight of Cups is also like a romantic person. Like they're really like Romeo, oh Romeo, where for I thought Romeo type shit. 
But then it's like, can you do that with other people too? They're flirt. Show me this um, nine of cups. The king of wands in reverse. <clears throat> You've been through a lot with this person. Some of y'all dealing with a flirt. King of wands in reverse, knight of cups. Show me the hangman. The strength in reverse, Leo energy there. With the magician here again. You weak when it comes to this person, Aquarius. This person got you weak in the knees, baby. Show me the nine of swords. They got you weak in the knees. I can hardly me. Eight of cups in reverse. You see? Some of y'all, you walk away from this person. You come right back. Walk away, come back. Or some of y'all just can't even walk away. There's that queen of cups again in reverse. There's a lot of emotional roller coasters here. Show me the hermit. Why is this person the hermit? The world in reverse. I told you, I feel like this person gets distant, but I feel like it's not over. Your person is trying to fulfill something like an inner, a deep down inside need. Like they really trying to understand what they want. Like your person is trying to feel complete. Show me the judgment card. They're going through a very spiritual journey right now in their life. Ten of Cups. See, y'all both getting this card. I'm telling you, I feel like y'all both know that you make each other happy. You both know that you can, you know, have this nice, beautiful, big family, happy family, family matters type energy. Your person knows, you know. Show me the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Two of Cups connection here sometimes it's hard for this person to handle this connection though you got the hangman here on the bottom again pisces energy because the knight of cups in reverse is like somebody who really don't know how to manage their emotions they could be moody they could be up and down you never really know hot and cold one thing they know for sure is that they feel a bond with you but then there's that hangman energy again show me the magician there's love here the page of wands so there's that page of wands again that communication card we see so i feel like if there's been silence between you and this person i feel like that's gonna break i see communication happening between the two of you i feel like you want to communicate they want to communicate you know what i mean some of you may actually be communicating right now but with the hangman it's like a slow moving type of energy so maybe things maybe y'all got shit on hold right now Four of Wands in reverse, Hierophant in reverse. There's the Hangman again and the Three of Swords. Some of y'all, there's a third party thing going on here. Very, very few of you, not everybody. The Hangman is here again, Hierophant in reverse, and the Four of Wands in reverse. I think it's really about trying to make this foundation a little bit stronger between the two of you. What's under the justice card? The eight of cups again. Seven of wands in reverse. Two of wands in reverse. King of swords in reverse. That's you, lovers. What the hell? Did you and this person, for some of you, I just heard y'all did walk away from each other. But it's like y'all missing each other and y'all gonna come back to each other. That's not for everybody. Because your mutual energy is the eight of cups followed by the justice. You some of y'all for both for some of you, it's like both of y'all feel like y'all had the right to do that. But I feel like you coming right back because you stress without this person. You fucking keep thinking about them. You're weak in the knees for them. But for some of you, this person is a flirt. King of Wands in reverse with the Knight of Cups. Ooh, Jesus. But I see communication. Let's go into the extended now. We're going to do a full spread on your person. 
um let's see more about how they feel about you what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you in the future and then we'll go ahead and pull you some advice cards all right thank you guys for watching i appreciate you don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'll see you guys in the extended if not see you next time have a beautiful weekend bye